All right, here's my hot take. I've figured it out. I've been thinking about the whole episode. Can I do it? Can I frame it this way? I'm going to do it. This is for Kassan, but it's true. It's actually my take for real. If you actually put all context into play, and especially if you know that I do value your general body of work more than even winning championships. Like essentially, I would just give the obvious examples like this. There's people who've won majors who were just good for six months. I care more if you were like, if every day, even if not always at the major, you were like the best player every day. I think that's way bigger. I actually think if I look at all factors considered, I actually think Nico is the second best CSGO player of all time. I think I would say that. I think he's second best. Oh, the thing is, like, it's so hard for me to say to give him the second place, but I see where you're coming. It's because if you're going to go with chump ships, you have to give a device or something, don't you? You know what I mean? But like, and if it, I just look at, if I take aside team concepts when they did it, like, if I just watched all the games with the name plates off, I, only simple played better than Nico, in my opinion. Like, yes. It's too many years is my problem. It's too many years of being like that insanely good. Because, like I said, basically, what I didn't say earlier that I could have also done as a hot take is, bro, when I watched that Cologne final, this is why Nico's an alien. Dude, I think now might be the best he was ever playing. Like, they, he looks like now his game's mastered. Think about all the other great players. Like, Cold Zero was still good after his best years, but he was just, like, a bit better. You know, he was 80% as good. Nico might be in his prime now, in 2023. Like, I th- bear in mind, the game's about to end. I think he might be second best for me. I know it's a hot take, but it's a hot take, sure. There you go. Listen, the best I can give you is that he's equal to simple. You know, Wait, I, that's, I, even I, better. that's even better. That's even. The best I can give him, right? Because I can't agree. There you go. That he's, like, that's he's the weirdest porn stars episode ever, isn't it, Maui? I'm like, I want him to be second best ever. Best I can do is equal with the goat. It's like, what? What sort of mad trade is this? I know. <laughs> <laughs> really the best hard. I can do for you is, you know, just giving him the the equally sharing the number one. Right. Spot. Okay. Because like, if this year continues to be like this, and you know, in transition to CS, but. We don't know. The thing is, like, he delivered so much impact, so much more impact than Simple, I believe, in his teams. Yes, Simple has the craziest numbers of all time. It's just fucking amazing. It's, he's an alien by himself, right? But he did play with an op for many of the Put it this way, to me, the angle you're going with here is more like, to you, he's more well-rounded than Simple, right? Exactly. More complete player, yes. right? Okay. Now. More complete player. Definitely the equally skilled in terms of ceiling, in terms of like clutching and all these things that are even with the, I, know, you, I can't compare him with the, like with an op as, yeah, as yeah. simple, but he yes. can, she can use an op, right? We saw that in the past. So the best I can actually give you is equal to simple. So simple Nico number one, and then you can put okay. device number two and, okay. you know, whoever is, you know, behind. He- Nico can't op. <laughs> like, let's get that clear. We saw that at the beginning of 2022. That was bad. That was like that was hurting me because I was like, oh, they should just keep Omenek on the op. That he was... can't op like simple, yes. But he, he can't op like Omenek. He can't even op uh, like Omenek. Come op. on, it's Omenek was the good. worst yeah, C side op. oper we had. Like Omenek was only good on the CT side. He was decent on CT side op. But everything else, he wasn't even touching the op on T side. Nico can op better than Amanek, that's for sure, but he cannot op, op better than Simple. But can Simple rifle as good as Nico? No, no, of course not. No, no, no. Nico, hands down, best rifler. Like, that, that's not a question for me at all. But uh, I just had to draw issue with oh, that good. single point. Okay. okay. Is that it? I mean, that might be the end, right? Is that it? He didn't really, like, elaborate too much on it. Well, I mean, okay, 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 for the for the for the for the argument there, for the bigger argument or the point that Thorne made that he's the second best, I I I think that like there's a couple like the way that you would say he's the best, as you mentioned earlier, Thorne is like pound for pound, like econ econ wise, Nico's the best. You give him a Deagle, he's gonna get the most done with it. You give him an AK, he's gonna get the most done, and or M4 uh, on the CT side, of course, but like. Where I I put device is my number two. Device is definitely my number two player of all time. Okay. Uh, it's and it does involve. I mean, his stats will end up being better because he's using an op prop. Like just just kind of how this game works most of the time, unless you're bad. And the thing is that with Nico, like it's like there was this period where he was performing really well for. Um, like as an individual, but like he wasn't having any like deep perform. Like he wasn't going like deep enough in tournaments for me. It was, I guess it. I guess that was like. I guess that was kind of around the online era, though. It felt like he was just sort of irrelevant wait, for wait, a period wait. there. Wait. So that's. I guess that's not super. That's not like 
the most damning part of this, but like I, I'm not I'm just not gonna like memory wipe what device did with Astralis and how how hard he was carrying their asses. Not he wasn't carrying their asses like single handedly. Obviously, they were the best team ever, but like he was the best player on the best team for a stretch of like two and a half years. If you, if you look at the numbers, yes. If you look at the impact, the most scary players of that team of Astralis, the most annoying and impactful players were Ziptix and Glaive. Yes, Device was a, is a, is the is the you know overall best player, but when it comes to like the stats and all this shit, right? But Zipnix and Glaver are super super carry players in that team. But the thing is, like, if you can mention the the Nico's pre-COVID online whatever era, why don't you mention the Device's like break of a fucking year and something, and then coming back to Astralis and not doing anything for six months, and then in the NIP episode and the the moment where the prime Astralis kind of dropped off, like that's a big period of time. A couple of years, like, yeah, it's yeah. But, like but Nico has been co delivering consistently since 2015. I'll tell you a banger line. Uh, this line looks. Yeah. If you go look. This this checks out, right? Nico's stats are so good that you wouldn't know he was a rifler if you actually just looked at the real numbers. Like he has the numbers of the greatest. Like the joke is, if you just converted his numbers directly and said it was an opera, the opera himself would instantly be like a top five goat contender flair of all time. Like, like that. That's it. I think actually Nico on every level. In, in my opinion, the only thing he hasn't done is win everything. That's it. And by the That's way, a spoiler, problem. he's now won Kenovic's and clones. We're doing the same simple thing again, where if you win the major last, people don't realise you sort of got there, and they think, oh, he just people are going to act. The day he wins the major, people will act like he got twice as good. Obviously, he didn't. He got 0.01% better. You know what I mean? I think, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I think that, you know, uh, Nico and Simple is the classic Ronaldo Messi type of situation. Yes. And, and, and I don't know where I, who would I name as... Fucking no, I know what you mean. Your analogy just, is like, in this analogy, you're making like Nico Messi because the angle is that he does more for the team, whereas Ronaldo is like, he only scores, but that is the most important part of the game. So that's why it's a classic debate, isn't Actually, it? Actually, I would say the other way. Like, okay. I, I think Ronaldo is the one that's doing all for the team. And uh, Messi is the one that's like, you know, getting the passes from Xavi and Iniesta and okay. other people. I see the analogy. You know? Okay. Yeah, so that, that that's, that's how I see it, right? So... For me, I like I said, I can't really put them as number number one firmly, simply because the presence of simple sure. is there. But I can put him as number two because that's what what he does on the server with a rifle, nonetheless, for past eight years. So that's that's the issue. Yeah, there you go. There's the hot take. And by the way, that is a hot tip because if you essentially don't know, every single sports ball show ever values rings number one, so they'll never have this discussion, will they? But there you go. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, obviously, if you like sports ball, you'll be able to, by the time this comes out, watch me and Maui's second episode of our show, Banter Give and Go, about the NBA, over on the LFN Sports Channel. Go and check that out and subscribe there. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.